Okay, so for our first reading in ethics, uh, I have assigned Mary Midgley's short essay entitled Trying Out One's New Sword. I wanted to tell you a little bit about Midgley. She was born in 1919. She's British. This essay was written in 1983 but Midgley has published many books and articles before then and after then, and she's published on lots of different topics, including animal rights, science and religion, uh, and uh, Dawkins, Richard Dawkins, the biologist, his thesis of the selfish gene, and the Gaia hypothesis, which is the thesis that the Earth itself is an organism. So she's been very active in debating different kinds of controversial ideas, and this essay is no exception. So what I'm going to be doing here is summarizing Midgley's argument in this essay. That's going to take up most of these lectures. And then I'm, then I'm going to pose a question of whether we agree or disagree with her position and the argument that she's made in support of her position. So I'm going to ask you to think critically about this essay at the end. But first, we need to just understand better what she's saying. The focus of Midgley's essay is a view that she calls moral isolationism, and she defines this view as denying that we can ever understand any culture except our own well enough to make judgments about it. Now, based on your reading of this essay, you might pause here for a moment and ask whether you think Midgley agrees with this idea or disagrees with this idea. So uh, I actually would encourage you to just take a moment, pause the video and ask yourself that question. Do I think Midgley agrees with this idea or does she disagree with this idea? And then I'll give you the answer and we'll move on. Okay, uh, the answer is that she disagrees with this idea. And the rest of her essay is going to be about why it is a bad idea for us to adopt this theory, the theory of moral isolationism. So in order to make her case, Midgley starts out by considering an example. Uh, she picks an example that's fairly distant in time. It comes from Japan in the 1600s rather than from contemporary practices. She mentions some contemporary, more contemporary issues like female circumcision in Africa or um, the Chinese Cultural Revolution. Um, but she picks a what she hopes is a less controversial example to make her point. So she um, she introduces this example with the word sujigiri, which comes from Japanese, and it means to try out one's new sword on a chance wayfarer. So this practice, as Midgley summarizes it, is as follows. If you're a samurai and you get a new sword, you want to be sure that the, sam that the sword works correctly in battle. Because if you go into battle and you use your sword and it doesn't slice all the way through your opponent from the shoulder to the hip as it's supposed to, then it's very embarrassing and it looks bad and your opponents will not be uh, as, as impressed by you or intimidated by you. So it's very important that your sword works correctly. But there's really no way to test, no good way to test this sword except on a human being because nothing cuts quite like a human being. So the uh, practice that was adopted is to just pick a random person walking along the street uh, on your way from one place to another and slice that person in half with your new sword. And then that will tell you whether or not the sword works before you get into an actual battle. So that's the practice of sujigiri uh, as summarized by Midgley. Now, a question that this raises, of course, is what should we say about the practice? We living in the 21st century, reading about this practice, should we say, well, that's, that practice is in some culture long ago, and I, I don't think I, I could possibly understand that culture well enough to be able to pass judgment on the practice. If we were to say something like that, we'd be taking the moral isolationist view. So we'd be saying something, the, the idea here is we might be tempted to say something like, 
I can't possibly have an opinion about that practice because it's not part of my own culture. So I'm not, I'm not uh, able legitimately to pass any judgment on it. On the other hand, we might have a different kind of reaction. And I think the way that um, Midgley writes about this, she kind of implies that this would be her reaction. We could say something like, um, gosh, uh, I, I don't know a whole lot about that culture, but from what I've heard, that sounds like a really horrendous practice. I mean, individual people that haven't done anything wrong, uh, who have their own lives and families, are just cut down in the street by a samurai just to test a new sword. They lose their whole lives just so a, a sword can be tested. That sounds horrible. There must, there must be a better way to test swords than that. Um, and if a culture uh, adopts a practice like that, they're doing something really immoral. You know, they, they, they ought to change it. And again, I don't know a whole lot about it. I'd like to know more um, before being confident about my judgment. But based on what I know, that seems like a really um, immoral thing. And if I gather more information and it, it doesn't uh, convince me otherwise, well, then that's going to be my judgment about it. I just believe that it's in, the sujigiri was immoral and it, it shouldn't have been a practice adopted by the culture. 